All right, well here we have my map gas forge. I'm gonna show you how I assemble it and go through the process of heat treating a knife. Stay tuned. All right, for this forge, I use nine by four inch fire blocks. I use six of them one inch thick and three of them two inch thick. So I assemble it. Put this one in kind of a line for the bottom. And they lock in like so. This block right here, I've drilled a 5 8 inch hole which will accept the map gas torch and I'm just using a standard uh, burns a matic map gas torch this happens to be the TS 8000 I can either put the block in here and hit the heat from the side, angle it that way, or I'll put it for this process on top so the flame actually points down. It's got a slight cant to it as I drilled so I can adjust it towards the back so it holds the heat in. And there we have it. Okay, so here I just added one of the um, four by nine by one inch Bricks. I took it from the top here where I don't really need it and put it down here as a little shelf just to give it a little entry point so nothing hot drips down. If you notice, I'm using a wood butcher block. These brick resist heat so well, I've never had any issues with heat getting through to this wood at all. That being the case, if anything did happen, I do have a fire extinguisher on hand. What I'll do is I'll place this like so, get it all set, we'll fire it up. There you have it. I'll get prepped and uh, we'll get a blade thrown in there. All right, well, it seems to want to work better on the side today, so we're going to set the heat up from the side. so there you have it fresh out of the quench gonna go ahead and uh, move on to the tempering process in the oven next just took this over to the vise and 
use some 150 grit to remove the black scale left from the quenching process. Now it's just ready for tempering in the oven. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for the tempering process. See you next time.